of one hit too, I would think. Shadow Chill, come on. Yes, we survived. Perfect. And that Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Carson Rock 35 here. So I accidentally started the quest when I went looking for the big mushroom to try to find it at the end of the last episode I recorded. So I was looking it up and I couldn't find it for a while so I was like okay we searched up on Pokefine and Pokefine gave us the destination for it and automatically started a battle so here we are uh, apparently I have no idea what's going on I didn't get any chat dialogue except for one line um, and I didn't see what it is so let's go ahead and check out what that line was it said uh, there's the mushroom the Pokemon around it don't look happy to see me so let's go ahead and come up here um, oh okay I see the mushroom now okay so Interesting. A Nido King. Let's go with close combat. We need to actually, you know, watch this fight. It'd be a lot better if we were over here. Boom. We almost took out that Nido King in one shot. And he's going to follow up with a Sludge Wave. That's not going to be good for our bug type. Oh, that really hurt us. T-Tar's fainted. We don't have a fully healed team right now. But luckily, we still have Espeon, which can finish off. I think everyone else in this team that we have to battle with basically one shot. Especially being level 100. These guys are all like level 70s. Okay, Parasect. Oh, that's all we got left to fight. And uh, whoa, what will Blissey do? Did Espeon faint? No, they switched us out. Well, I don't want Blissey fighting. We're gonna can't toxic you, so Pokemon. I don't have anyone else to go out to either outside of Espeon, but Espeon's such a high level, I think we'll be okay. And the battle's moved over here now. Come on, Espeon, you got this. Knock off, that's not very good. Wow, that still did a lot of damage. Psychic, come on, we should go first, obviously. And we should one-shot this Parasect. There we go, please tell me we have no one else with the battle. Oh, a wild victory bell appeared, okay. So, wait, are we like able to capture these Pokemon? Because, hold on, can I do this? No way that works. I threw a- I wanted to see because it's a quest, but these say wild Pokemon. Nothing happened. Okay, so I'm assuming that's obviously not gonna work. Let's go ahead and- well, we're kinda in a bind here. Let's use, uh, Double Edge here. We can't switch into Espeon because Espeon might take too much damage from the switch in. That's kind of a, a big sadness point. So let's find- Blissey's gonna hold out here. We can't poison it though, that's the biggest problem. Let's go get our Minimize off here. Jeez, poison on us though. That's not good. Um, one problem I have recognized with Gen 2 Toxic strategy is that there's a lot of poison types that you can't really get in the way of um, and use poison on them because a lot of Pokemon are used that. And then the Gen 1 poisons pop up again. So it's kind of weird um, how many poison types are actually existing from out the Gen 2 games. Come on, Blissey, you can do this. Soft boil time we cannot lose another Pokemon. Oh, that was really, really close, but at least we're going to heal up now. But we need to do another soft boil in a row, obviously. I think that's, yeah, because of that poison and how much damage he does to us, I think that's our best bet. Come on. I have no idea what happens if we lose this battle. Come on, Blissey, you've got this. You're our tank, buddy. That's why we've got you. Don't worry, you're going to get so much more HP once we actually level you up again. We've just kind of taken a break for now. We've done almost half HP, but in all reality, this Victory Bell has killed us like twice at this point with moves. We just keep healing up. Victory Bell flinched. That's a really, really good sign. Okay, time to go for Soft Boil again. Luckily, we have seven more after this one, so it's not a big deal. Survive it. Good. Heal up. Beautiful. Over half health, and it's going to take us to about half because of that poison. That's good. So let's do one more Soft Boil to finish up as much health as we can. And we saw that coming. Heal. There we go. We're almost back to full HP. Perfect. So we can take one to two more hits without crits. And Double Edge should be able to help us continue killing this thing. At least Double Edge is still doing more than I was hoping it was going to do. Or I thought it was going to do. Uh, just because Blissey is not a physical attacker at all. Or even an attacker for physical or special. But it's doing really well. And at this point we could finish it off with Espeon if we have to. Um, but I'd rather not because I think we have one more Pokemon we have to battle and I'd like to have Espeon for that. The most strength that we can possibly get. Come on and double edge one more time. No, not Giga Drain. 
That's gonna hurt us. I don't think we can finish it off now. No, we couldn't. That really, really sucks. And there goes Blissey. That's not good at all. Okay, let's send an SB on here. Okay, let's go ahead and just use Psychic. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna go first no matter what. Uh, just hopefully it's better than Quick Attack. Quick Attack escaped me. It wasn't gonna kill Arbok. Psychic. Please one shot. No, we got rid of our Espeon. I only have Lantern and Kyoto Venusaur at that point. At this point, this is not good at all. Oh no. Okay, well, let's use. Uh, Eruption. Aqua Tail, really, on Arbok? That sucks so much. Not even stab, and he fainted. It was 10 Liars level, I guess, uh, levels higher, I guess. That was really, really bad. Okay, let's go ahead. And I don't have a talking move outside of Hydro Pump. Earthquake, and that's going to finish off our lantern, isn't it? Oh my god, that was rough. That was very rough. Find Giant Mushroom News at First City. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I just need to heal up. Okay, when we're back here, ah, uh, yeah, there's a mushroom around it, though the Pokemon don't real camp yet. Does that mean I gotta rebattle everyone? Okay, well, at least I have my full team this time, so I'm not super worried. Earthquake, and that's plenty of more XP for our boy Lantern. Oh, look, so it gives you a second Pokemon. Look at that. I didn't see that before. That's the visual representation, and then there's actually what's happening. That's cool. Okay, so Ice Fang on this Parasect. Should do a good bit of damage if not finishing it off. Yeah, that almost finished it off. Parasect flinched too, so that means an easy two Ice Fangs, and we can finish off this Parasect without an issue, especially because of our Sandstorm. Boom. Get out of here, Parasect. You are nothing. Our board T-Tar is the man. What do you got for us? You're going to be really, really hard. So let's go with Ice Fang and Yanks. At least know we're super effective versus you being super effective on us as a Rock type. One shot, you victory belt. Get out of here. I had you on my team. You're supposed to be very good. Arbok here. We'll just use Earthquake. No big deal at all. You're going to use Earthquake on us. I expected that, so we use the same thing. Just as powerful, but we have a much, much higher attack. Boy, get out of here, Arbok. Phew, that was tough. There were many... Uh, Pokemon that were territorial. That was the last ingredient indeed. I should head back to the lighthouse and give these to Jasmine. Take the ingredients back to Jasmine. Okay, so slash. I'm here with the medicine, Jasmine. I've got it. I've got it. You're back, Carson. Did you manage to get everything? Yeah, I have it all right here. Excellent. This shouldn't take me long at all. Uh, here, Amph, you drink this. It'll make you feel better. Amph. Amph. Is that it? Hello? Amph, Amph, I don't know what that means. There you see, you're starting to feel better already. Uh, you still need lots of rest though. I want you to take it easy. Thank you for all your help, Carson. I don't know what I would have done without you. It was my pleasure. You just couldn't stand by and watch your Pokemon suffer. That's a pleasant thing to hear. Um, uh, I'd like to give you something for help. Here's TM24 Thunderbolt. Use that teach you a Thunderbolt. Hopefully it will become in hand during- No way! There is no way. Wait, we've got Magnet and Thunderbolt. Well, hold on. Let's put- magnet on you and let's use thunderbolt on lantern please tell me you can learn thunderbolt so it didn't matter that we got rid of discharge anyways because thunderbolt is better so let's just go ahead and get iron delulge out of here and a magnet so a item held by a pokemon it's a powerful magnet that boosts the power of electric type moves and throw that on our boy uh lantern when we're ready for that so we actually have something good for him guys that was a great great episode that was a lot a lot of fun so far okay let's see so is that that's all we completely finished that quest right yeah so slash bell see how much money we got we're up to 471,000 43 tokens with all that we're chilling now wait I fell through that one but I can't fall through the others that's kind of sad so cool with that going on um that's a completed quest boom that's a quest we're working on can't do can't do can't do so we only have two three quests left total two of which we have started and one of them being the shadow two quest uh well we're already here in zephyr's town so let's let's go ahead and start with this talking right let's finish off this episode starting our shadow two quest and i think that will be a good run for us so let's go see what michael and them have to say uh, against us and I have a full inventory of just garbage at this point I really really do so 
slash spawn easy peasy and is there anything I can get rid of? I mean I can mine it some things easy peasy like I could just uh, throw an anklet on you and throw you there there we go now we have a little bit of space I like having one hand not filled with items especially when I'm trying to do stuff it's always a lot more useful and everything so let's go ahead and head to Zephyr City and we can talk to Michael and Tardly Tardly Tardly's I don't know whatever that name was that was random word gibberish next to him and we can do that and start our second uh, mission for the Shadow Quest 2. And then we can also go back to Gen 1. Because I'm hoping by the time we finish Shadow Quest 2, we're going to have all of our team finished. And then we can go back to Gen 1 and finish everything that we need to finish there. So let's go ahead and go back to Zephyrus City. And we already know that they are right up. Where are we? This way. We need to go back towards the gym again to speak to Michael and everything. So hopefully, uh, this won't be too, too much to get into today. Come on, come on, come on. Michael, what do you have to say for us? Michael was on our team last time, right? Hi, Carson. I don't think you got my text for a second. I didn't know I had a phone. Well, I did some digging on Earth where Cypher is operating. Truly here, he is guarding the door. Uh, after I defeated him, the shadows left him. He will, uh, tell it truly. That's okay. You got it. I actually think it might be better if you do it. Uh, do, do you trust about to? We don't have time for this. Uh, fine, sorry, it's okay. Last night, Rosalind City, I just hit a rock bottom. I felt like I was gloom. I cannot keep up with this chat at all. Okay. Uh, actually, might better if you do. Uh, we don't have time for this. Fine, sorry. Okay, so it was so late last night in Rosalind City, I just hit rock bottom. I was drooling like a gloom. Felt like muck. Uh, all felt like wheezing as well. And then when I met Cypher, who asked me to help him fulfill his dream of creating a new type of Pokemon, I was searching for a sense of purpose, and suddenly there it was. It wasn't long before I was consumed by the shadows. My Pokemon nearly unstoppable. Every time I went, I felt more powerful than before. Thankfully, Michael defeated me, releasing the shadows with Cypher's grip on my very soul. Wow. Ugh. Excuse me. Sorry. It's that story. It gets me every single time. Ugh. You're a wordsman. Truly. Uh, thanks anyways, Carson. Go inside here and make your way to the top. That's where a shadow portal leading to Cypher's lab is. We saw that earlier, uh, last video, trying to look for stuff. Trust me, uh, without your help, there will be many sad stories to come. And watch, you're sure to find some shadow trainers along the way. Don't worry, Carson, to feed them before. Oh, great. In the meantime, we'll hold other shadow trainers off down here. Good luck. Find Folly in Zephyrus Tower. Wait. Well... Yep, Zephyrus Tower. Folly. We're not healed up at all. That's fine. Let's just take our uh, potions here and heal ourselves up real quick. Thank you. Anyone else need healing? There we go. We're all good now, I would think. Perfect. Now let's get started here. More truly do wrong. Am I right? How'd I jump like you get past the shadow train? And man, no matter prepared to mm, die, go Venusaur. Wow, that was rough. Well, let's go with Earthquake. Best damaging move, even though we don't have stab on it. There's no way you one shot. Yeah, yeah I'm like, there's no way you one shot our uh, our boy Titar here. Oh, you don't get one shot. Please tell me you finish off by reverse damage. No, that really sucks. Crunch, come on, we need to go first. No, Shadow Storm's gonna finish us off. Oh, we just survived! That means we're gonna finish off the Venusaur. This is gonna be a very close battle considering we don't have a well level balanced team. But they're all more around my lower levels ish. So, boom, Lantern's level 59 as well, so that's a good point. Blastoise, hi, bud. Let's go with uh, Stone Edge, see if we can get it off. Nope, I knew that was gonna finish us. Shadow Trill. Ugh! Okay. Well, at least these guys aren't like level 85 plus, so. Okay, come on, Heracross, I think you're a good choice here. Uh, I think close combat with your speed and strength would be really good. Boom, we go first. How is that going to work on this Blastoise? Nearly finished him off. We should be able to survive one hit too, I would think. Shadow Chill, come on. Yes, we survived. Perfect. And that finished him off because of reverse mode. Easy peasy. Moving on to the next one here. What do you got for us up next, boy? A Shadow... What? Charizard, okay. Um, close combat again. Shadow Storm, yeah. See, 
this is really, really tough. Okay, who we have next? Um, on all reality, Espeon is our next best lineup. Outside of that, we don't have anything super duper strong, but this is the last model to go with Psychic. Come on, Espeon, finish him off. It should be one shot. Yes, take down that Charizard. Uh, I've seen the light, it's so warm. Hey, what happened, truly? Uh, truly, uh, it's fine. He's seen the light as well. Actually, he's outside fending off some shadow trainers as we speak. If Truly is right, so I will, of course. Wait a second. You're the one who stopped Cypher's uh, Operation Kyoto. You're a freaking legend. Thanks. Thank you very much. I appreciate the description of legend. Not hero, but legend. Uh, I was going to warn you about the journey ahead, but from what I've heard, you're unstoppable. Good luck. Find Wreath in Zephyrus Tower. Ooh. Wreath. Who are you? Wreath. And this is where we're going to end today's video. So I hope you guys all did enjoy today's cliffhanger. If you want to see what happens next time, make sure you check out next video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys all did enjoy. And I'll see you all later. Peace, peace.